Welcome to Curated Clean, the podcast, where Where we we get get our hands hands dirty so you you don't have to. We are your curators, we are sisters, and we are your hosts. My name is Mike. My name is Mandy. And my name is Whitney. Welcome to our official first quote-unquote podcast. We're so happy to have you with us today. We have a super fun subject to talk about. Right. Um, Like Mike said, this is our technical first podcast, but if you would like to binge, we have three already waiting for you. And it's all about who we are, what Curated Clean is, and what you can expect Mm -hmm. in the future from our podcast and the episodes. Yes, Yes. how Curated Clean came about and our goals for you every time you join in with us. So we're so happy to have you here. Like I said, we are going to be talking about Easter candy. And I think it's a really good subject because Easter's coming up. You still have time to place your orders if you want to use any of the products that we talk about today. Mm -hmm. Uh, We always want to say that none of the items or the candies and chocolates and stuff we're going to talk about today are not sponsored. We purchased these all Mm -hmm. ourselves. These are candies that we have either used in the past or specifically got for this this review today. Yes. Right. Um, and so we're going to kind of do a roundtable discussion as we go around and talk about certain things and, and we're going to test some of them. <laughs> we're going to have some ASMR for you today as yeah. well. Mm-hmm. So I apologize if you don't right. like that, but if you do, get ready. Uh, okay, let's. I think we should start out with everybody talking about what their specific goals or checklist is for what they were looking for because we all have very different things we're looking for. Mm-hmm. Right. That also leads me into... This is our first review for you all. So mm-hmm. we are we are scaling all of these on a rating of curator approval. So right. you can have a three out of three. That's the best. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're each a curator giving whether or not it passes or fails our right. curator test. And we're going to describe the reasons why we made our decisions. And just because it maybe fails a test doesn't mean that Mm -hmm. it's necessarily bad. It just doesn't fit the criteria that that curator was looking for. So Whitney, how about we start with you? What is the list that you were looking for when you were thinking of Easter candy and what were your goals and and things that met the criteria? Um, For me, I think my main thing was I wanted to make sure that it was gluten-free. And then if I can do lower sugar, I prefer that. Um, No artificial sugar was, I was trying to make sure if it didn't, if it wasn't just regular, like organic sugar that it was monk fruit or stevia. Um, Those are kind of my biggest things and no, no artificial um, coloring or flavoring. So mine, it didn't necessarily have to be like no sugar at all. It was just kind of try to keep it lower to have an artificial, not an artificial, sorry, or um, a plant-based sugar if I can. Um, But mostly gluten-free and like low sugar were my two main things. Okay. Mandy, what were yours? Yeah. Um, so, I mean, we all want our children, you know, if you have kids, we all want our kids to be able to go and enjoy Easter. I have wonderful memories of being a kid and going out mm-hmm. Easter egg hunting. Oh, wearing our we homemade all, dresses. Yeah. Right. And we, mm-hmm. we, um, we all want our kids to be able to enjoy that, right? But, like, no one wants their kid ingesting copious amounts of sugar. And then also, on top of that, nasty chemicals and right. colorants and things that mm-hmm. you wouldn't really want them to right. ingest anyway. At least I wouldn't. Um, I have three kiddos, two of which are like Easter egg hunting age. So for me, what was really important was that it was organic, number one, Mm -hmm. that things were colored and sweetened with natural flavors. Um, Mm -hmm. So no nasty food coloring dyes. Mm -hmm. Um, That was really important to me. Uh, I also really wanted it to be fun. I mean, there's right. nothing like worse than trying to get your child to get on board with natural and clean living or healthy eating and then giving them like, you know, something that's like a crunchy carrot and they really want chocolate. A kid should be able to enjoy it. So I wasn't necessarily going for absolutely no sugar. I was going for just cleaner candy Mm -hmm. options. The cleanest. So instead of buying something off of the shelf that is literally chock full of chemical, chemically laden high fructose corn syrup and things like right. that. Oh, that's yeah, another thing. I was looking for no, yes. high fru- high, no high fructose corn syrup was a mm-hmm. big one for me as well, mm-hmm. which is really difficult. Even in the natural candy yeah, realm, still. it's still really, really mm-hmm. difficult to get away from those. And I actually, I will talk about it later, but I actually wasn't entirely able to get away from that in one brand in particular, but it's still a brand that I feel like is worth mentioning. Right. And that's what we want to talk about, that some of these may not fit all the criteria, but they're far better than other mm-hmm. options that were kind of used to having during holidays. Uh, I know that we also, I think a a mainstay for all of us was if we could find it organic and if we could find it, it, if not organic, at least Mm non-GMO. So those were some other criteria that we all knew that we had going in. I'm I'm a little bit different. I probably fall into the category of 
older children or children who have a lot of food allergies or uh, loved ones that maybe got, I'm a cancer survivor. If you guys, like we said earlier, want to go back and binge listen to those first three episodes, we talk about our health histories. Um, So in particular, since I'm a cancer survivor, I really, it will not get my approval if it has any sugar in it. Mm -hmm. And I won't do refined sugar. Even if it's organic. Even if it's organic, it, it won't make it. I, the only two sugars that I use that are natural sugars are, I will tolerate honey. I prefer honey. And second of all, maple syrup. Um, I will use dates too, but man, that is one thing I will say. And I'm working on this for maybe another, another podcast. You can't, you can't find date sweetened, um, goodies anywhere. couldn't yeah. find them. I found them outside the U S but couldn't get them brought into the U S I tried everybody. I tried, but, uh, so yeah. my list specifically was, I'm probably more of an allergy driven person too. I can't have dairy. I try to stay away from soy. And so for me, if I am going to do soy a little bit, I'm going to break it for Easter or a holiday for maybe a day. Uh, so for me, I'm looking for dairy free, gluten free, soy free, uh, pretty much top eight allergy free. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't right, have a shellfish right. allergy, but if you are soy free and dairy free in general, they're going to be top eight allergy free. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we can probably post a link to that if you don't know what top eight allergy means, but there are, you know, eight things that are usually right. what people have allergic reactions to. And you can find facilities that are those allergy free. I wasn't necessarily looking for raw, but uh, some of the things that I found ended up being raw. Mm-hmm. Um, so if you're on a keto diet or paleo, a lot of my things that I found should help you. Uh, not that I have a huge stack. I have a few items to choose from, but they are delicious and they do fit the criteria. So just know that that's what I was looking for really as, as I like to stay organic if I can, and just no sugar. If it had any sugar at all, as far as refined sugar, I, I don't use it, not even coconut sugar or things like that. Mm -hmm. So those are my goals. That's what I've spoken to my nutritionist about. Once again, if you are going to change a diet plan or do anything like that, make sure you talk to your doctor Mm -hmm. about it. If you, if you or your child or somebody, you know, has a food allergy, make sure that you take any of these items that we talk about today to them, to get them approved through your practitioner. Uh, These are just suggestions that work for us, but you always have to work Mm -hmm. with your dietitian, your nutritionist, whoever it is that helps you navigate those things for yourself. Right. Mm -hmm. You'll hear us say that a lot in in these podcasts. You know, we always, you know, our, our claim is here as your curators is we're just your friends Mm -hmm. that are willing to go out and, and, um, dig our hands into yes. this process. And we've been doing this clean living journey for a long time. And mm-hmm. so, um, you know, but we're not doctors, we're not scientists, we're not dietitians. Mm-hmm. So whatever, you know, you hear from us, do take it and um, to your practitioner mm-hmm. and, you know, see what they have to say about stuff. But we're just going to show you today. I have to say, I had a lot of fun with this podcast. A lot It of was what, not a bad one. No. Definitely <clears throat> wasn't. Um, a lot of what we've done so far has been a little more technical And you guys will hear the fruits of all of our labors on that later. But we really wanted to start with this podcast for you guys because it was just so fun to dive into Easter candy and just candy in general. And also (laughs) give a little hope at the end of the day. Um, I work with a lot of cancer patients, or at least I I mentor a lot of people in my day to day life uh, just just to encourage them on their on their daily um, struggles and things like that. Sometimes it's hard to just even eat a meal. But I just spoke with somebody who had been diagnosed recently within the last couple of weeks. And one of their biggest things that they were nervous and scared about was, well, I love chocolate. And so now that I've gotten a diagnosis, I can't eat any chocolate. And let me just tell you, the light and the twinkle in their eyes went away. And I thought, no, I have options mm-hmm. for you. Right. That if yeah. you are doing cancer treatment or something like that, these are options There's to take no to your options. doctor, take to your exactly. nutritionist, talk to them about it. I'm sure that you can find a way to eat something mm-hmm. if you're just having the worst day ever and you have to have something. So just right. that's another thing I like about this yeah. topic is it's encouraging too that if mm-hmm. you really have a sweet tooth, whoops, I bumped my mic, and you really want to indulge in something, not say and do this every day, no, but if you want to have a day that you want to indulge, we have some options. So right. Let's start exactly. talking about yeah. our options. Okay. Yeah, no, it's it's yes. exciting. I think this will be exciting for your kiddos too, if you have kiddos in your life. So um, I don't know. Without further ado, let's do this. I know. I don't even know where to begin. I found so many oh, cool so things. <laughs> well, um, and another thing I'm going to say is if you are watching on the on the video cast version, we are going to um, have some close-ups of some of the products too, so you can right. see the packaging. Mm-hmm. We're going to describe them and that kind of stuff. So The one thing that we have to admit is almost everything that we purchased had to be purchased on their website and brought in. Mm -hmm. Is that correct for everybody? Everything, but for me, I have one item that I could actually get um, that I just got from Amazon, actually. But they have more options on the website, so I suggest going to their website because... 
I okay. didn't know they right. had all okay. of those options. So I was able, I it, like in our mm-hmm. local like um, Whole Food store, mm-hmm. I was able to I could I could have bought some of these products, but okay. they did not have the full line. Yes. So if you live in a bigger city or you have, have like a little bit of a there. bigger Whole Foods store, I don't mean the brand Whole Foods, by the way, just a store a that natural, uh, yeah. you know has organic natural candies. foods, whatever right. you want to call it. Natural food store, mm-hmm. you might have more options than we had here. We live in a smaller town in mm-hmm. Missouri, you know, so we didn't have a lot of local options. Right, so right. I did have to order all of mine as well. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you might have to account for that. I do, You've got a month right. left before. Yeah, I have, I have one brand, um, that, w- then I, when I talk about it, that is readily available at even a lot of big chain mm-hmm. names. Gotcha. Um, okay. So, but only one. Um, and it's a lot more pro of all of the three of mine that I'm bringing to the table. It is the most processed of all of them and does oh, contain gotcha. soy, which is not one of my highlights, but if I'm going to break it for something and I'm going right. to, you know, right. I'm going to be naughty with some soy. Mm-hmm. It's one day, it's one holiday. It'll be okay. Sure. Right. Okay. Right. So who wants to go first? Um, uh, Okay, I can well, start out, or do you want to? I don't well, know. here, how about I start because the, the brand I was talking about is Lily's Lily mm-hmm. Sweets. Yeah, um, it, I, I don't like saying names of the big big chain stores, but um, just because I don't want anybody to feel like we're affiliated. But uh, if you go to a big chain store, you can get. Uh, Lily's makes baking chocolates. They make uh, like chocolate smoke, chips. Chocolate chips. Okay. Yep. So like chocolate chips that you can bake cookies with. Mm-hmm. Or what I like to do is I like to melt, melt them down. Them, yes. yeah. And I've done chocolate dipped strawberries mm-hmm. and fruit and that kind of stuff. So to th- why I wanted to start with Lily's was if you wanted, if you had a family member or a child or something, and really you want to be really careful about what they're doing, you could take just a little bit of Lily's and warm it up and then just drizzle it over some strawberries and take that as a gift or give that to a kid. So, you know, it's not ideal as far as candy candy, but if that's all they can have, then it's something. And it does right. taste sweet and it does feel indulgent. Right. So you could do that. So this particular one is sea salt and extra dark chocolate. Um, it is – some sound going on here. We're going to taste a little bit. So this one oh, – Yeah, we, I've never tried this. Did you try this one? I've yeah, not Whitney? tried the – This one. Not the sea salt one. Mm-hmm. This I... is the sea salt one. And we're eating it right now. So Lily says less sugar, sweet life. This one is a 70% mm. cocoa. But here's the deal. If mm. you don't want to do stevia, which is technically an artificial sweetener, mm-hmm. because we can talk about our artificial sweeteners on another podcast, but it technically falls into the artificial sweetener, so I don't suggest doing stevia all the time. Well, but and some people have, like, really I don't sort really of do bad, well stevia, violent honestly. reactions mm-hmm. to it. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah. So it does have erythritol in it, and it does have soy lecithin, and also, um, I think the erythritol is also in the stevia thing. But I really like the sea salt flavor, though. Yeah, you can really taste it. The sea salt is really strong. Mm-hmm. And yeah, the which dark, I love. I love dark, the dark chocolate. chocolate. That's got a very good flavor, too. It's mm-hmm. very smooth. It's and it's not, not chalky. Exactly. Mm-hmm. It's yeah, not, not chalky. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Not chalky. So these, the one I'm holding right now, if you are just listening mm-hmm. to my crinkling, is just a bar. And it almost looks like you know, just a typical chocolate bar that you break off with like the little bricks. Right. And that's how they come. If you buy them in the bag, the chocolate chips, they come in mini chocolate chips. They come in Mm -hmm. more standard and they have different flavors too. One of them has dairy in it. So I don't ever use that one. I think it's the milk chocolate or the semi-sweet. But the other one is just dark chocolate. And I mean like bitter, it's like a bittersweet one, but man, it tastes amazing. I've made cookies with it and brownies and all sorts of stuff with it. It tastes really, really good. Um, I'm going to do a little zoom in over here on our, um, other little camera. So if anybody else wants to go in, Lily's was the one that I used. If you have mm-hmm. an older child or your, I mean, this is like a whole chocolate bar. You can't right, hide right. this in the yard. It would melt. It no. would, you know, so this is probably for maybe an older child. Or like I said, if you have a kid that you know is in your life that has allergies, mm-hmm. this might be something you save for the Easter basket. Right. And maybe during the hunt, sure. maybe you do like balloons or, you know, change, small toys, small toys something mm-hmm. like that right. to get them through the Easter hunt. And then you have something more special like this right. for the Easter basket. Sure. So that's yeah, where yeah. I'm at on that. Cool. So Lily's is the one that, um, one that I really chose. They also have some other ones, like they have almonds in one, like sea salt and almonds. I believe they also have a caramel one they have a and they have a milk one ch- and they have mm-hmm. a coconut one. So they have some other flavors. They're more sophisticated, I would say. And they usually tend to lean towards the darker chocolate than mm-hmm. a lot of milk chocolate, but they right. are delicious. They're readily available at 
you know, bigger chain stores and, you know, health food stores and things right. like that. And so they're a little bit easier to get their hand on. They are non-GMO and fair trade as well. So oh, awesome. Okay. So that's my, that was my yeah. first one. Super fun, cute and yummy. Really, really yummy. Well, I have one that is definitely more geared toward children mm -hmm. <laughs> when I actually really love it. It's a fairly popular brand. I'd already, you know, purchased some of these products before for my children, mm -hmm. but I had never really like deep dived into like their entire product line. And the company that I'm talking about is Yum Earth. Uh -huh. um, yep. And Yum Earth prides themselves on being non-GMO and organic. And so it ticked off a lot of my boxes straight out the gate. Not only that, but they don't use any um, artificial like flavorings and colorants. Mm -hmm. um, I really don't like my kids ingesting like artificial food dyes. Right. So they're all, all their colorings come from like beet, you know, juice or carrot powder, mm -hmm. things like that. Mm -hmm. And I really appreciated it. So I'm going to pull out some of my packaging really quickly. Ooh. <laughs> and you guys sitting here will notice that these packages are nearly empty because my kids absolutely loved them. And I gave some of these to your kids too, yes. Ms. Mike. And yes. I think they also I have, like I them. I have two children, a two-year-old and a five-year-old that are one, if I let them, would be candy holics. <laughs> um, these are also USDA organic um, mm -hmm. and they're also allergy friendly. Are they top eight allergy free? Is that what they're essentially um, saying? You know, okay. So they okay. say things like they're always made without soy, egg, dairy, fish fish, shellfish, peanuts or tree nuts, artificial dyes, and high fructose corn syrup. So mm -hmm. like I said, it really ticked off a lot of boxes. Not only that, though, it's also vegan, kosher, gluten-free, um, organic, non-GMO, colored with real fruit and vegetable juices, and manufactured and packaged in a peanut and tree nut-free facility. So there's a lot of kids that are yeah. so allergic to some of the stuff that mm -hmm. if it is even touching, you yeah, know, any yeah, any cross yeah, they could be yeah. in a lot honestly, of danger. Honestly, we have a, a babysitter that has come to our house and is mm -hmm. literally like deathly allergic to red red food coloring. So yeah. we don't yeah. keep anything like that in the house. I mean, we we don't anyway, but we really are cautious about. Wait, what does that have in it? Because if they come into contact with yeah. It, they they get hives and anaphylaxis. It's well, bad. Well, and a, another thing, I mean, I really liked that this was also vegan and kosher. I have mm -hmm. Jewish friends and I have my husband's vegetarian and um, yeah. it's it would be, it, I think it's kind of sad because like even in the natural realm, there might be like, oh, this is organic or this has less sugar, but it doesn't tick all their boxes. boxes. And yeah. so then they wouldn't feel comfortable giving it to their kids. This, right. like every child, there's something for everybody, I feel like. Right. Mm -hmm. And these remind me of just good old fashioned like, candy the stuff that you would normally get it's mm -hmm. almost i mean i don't want to say perfect but near perfect dupes for now, some of our favorites are <laughs> some of these theirs are individually wrapped right like in little bags that you could like put inside right. of an okay egg. so yes some of them were so one of their products is called organic giggles <laughs> and i don't know if i should say but this is a certain uh candy dupe um it's got a with soft a, center with, with a crunchy yeah coloring uh -huh, exactly <laughs> Um, so if you, if you can't taste the rainbow, you could possibly yeah, try a giggle. <laughs> you, could try, mm -hmm. you could just try this giggle. So just try Shayla this giggle. Can, or, sorry, Mike can just oh, yeah. show you this. I, um, and it's individually packed. You could literally put that inside of a plastic egg and it would be yeah. really easy. Yeah, also, um, the, uh, and they have fun colors too. Now, now because they're not using yeah, artificial, when lighter, people don't use art, yes. When people don't use artificial dyes, you just have to remember that your expectation doesn't have to be lowered. It just has to be shifted mm -hmm. because the right. colors are still pretty. They're just not as vibrant or as right. intense. And like I said, this is not a perfect dupe because these don't have those artificial sweeteners. They don't mm -hmm. have the, the nasty chemicals and dyes and things in it. So right. it doesn't taste the same, but it doesn't very, mean that it's bad. Close, but it was yeah. really close. And my kiddos loved the sour beans as well, which are sour oh, jelly beans. Sour beans. <laughs> okay, so I have a two-year-old and a five-year-old, and they loved the sour beans. I was shocked I mean. at how much my four-year-old actually liked mm -hmm. the sour beans. You wouldn't think that this would be something that she would enjoy, but she loved mm -hmm. them. And I, I was, yeah, I was really quite shocked. Um, you can definitely tell from the colors that they are naturally colored. and mm -hmm. um, But the flavors were really, really good. 
good. I especially liked, I think there's a sour like pear one in there. And mm-hmm. I actually really enjoyed that one. Mm-hmm. Oh, and you know what else I like about these that makes it feel just a little bit more special for the holiday is it says somebody has been mm-hmm. thinking of you. And so yeah. this would be exactly. great that you could send. I don't know if people are still sending treats to school, but this could be something you could send to school that is prepackaged yeah. and, and it has a little note in it. Yeah. It right. is, li- I mean, literally there is a little egg on here. I mean, this is definitely, they've geared their packaging for the holidays. And right. it's also safe too, because it's got a lot of the allergy for you. It'd be good to send to events. Oh, yeah. right. Package that way you don't have to worry about kids School, with allergies. Classroom it's friendly for yes, sure. Yep. sure. Yep. Um, and then they have this product called Chewies, which I can grab them out. You will, if you are on the vlog cast, you will see immediately. Oh, I've, I've had one of these. A little burst from <laughs> a little, the night sky. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A little fruity burst. <laughs> and know what they're I'm about. little mm-hmm. chewy squares that are individually packaged. And even, even their packaging is just say, cute. They mm-hmm. were a near perfect dupe. I. Mm-hmm. Even, even my husband really, really enjoyed mm-hmm. these. But oddly enough, when I asked my kids what their favorite their favorite product oh, um, from this line was, they mm-hmm. both really liked these like little lollipops, which the entire package is literally gone. If you're watching this, there's nothing left. They have <laughs> it is empty. <laughs> there's None three left. there's three flavors: None strawberry smash, razzmatazz mm-hmm. berry, and very very cherry. And the thing that I thought was hilarious about this was is actually they are vitamin C pops. So mm-hmm. they have it's 150 percent of a kid's daily vitamin C intake, and they didn't even realize they were getting their vitamin C. They just loved the product so much. Sneaking it in there, they <laughs> loved it so much. It was the one they consistently asked for. Mm-hmm. I thought that was so funny. Um, so that as well. And then the last thing that I got, which was a bonus from young earth, they just gave it to me. Um, because I'm my, I suppose I had probably spent a certain amount. And so the, uh, my mm-hmm. free gift was these chocolate rolling stones <laughs> and they are also completely gone. The product, the box is literally empty, but I <laughs> thought I'd bring it so we could take a picture of it. But I think these would be super, super fun for like making a cake or cupcakes for a kid's birthday party Uh and you need to have like rocks you know like little boys love to have like little construction scenes for like their birthday cakes I think this would be super fun or dinosaurs and they they literally look like rocks they look if I've honestly my two year old this last summer when it was her birthday (laughs) she loves rocks and so we did a rock theme party and it wasn't any it was literally just rocks like outside rocks and Mm so I had to go to high end chocolate stores candy shops to to find chocolate rocks now they didn't fall into my category I mean I I got them for other guests and my kids sported on them that day but these look just like the really really expensive ones I bought and these hit a lot more the boxes of at least they're gluten free they're non-GMO they're organic Organic, right. And they're allergen friendly. So I think it's right. really good for a kid who has allergies and you mm-hmm. need to do that party. Right. You can totally have the yes. theme go all the way through they, to the food. Okay. Yes. So all these products from Yum Earth still have sugar in them, but mm-hmm. it's organic sugar. Now there's no high fructose corn syrup. So that was important. Right. But I do want to warn, you know, if you're, you know, like Mike and you have a more stringent system um, where you can't have that sugar, Mm -hmm. these items won't be for you. But if you're just looking for a cleaner product, these ticked all my kids' boxes. They loved them so much. And I loved that they didn't have any of the nasty stuff that I didn't want and that they would be easy to put into Easter eggs. Mm -hmm. Yes. And they are very, the packaging is very, very themed. Very themed. It's super cute. Yes. Super cute. Super cute. I'm going to spin off of hers. I also have some more kid friendly options here because then I cool. got um, this is from a company called Tori and Howard so I'm going to grab my goodies from there um. so there's been a lot of things that we incorporate into this when making decisions so Mandy was really looking for things that fit into an egg would go out in the yard you know for an actual Easter hunt uh, which I think is important for kids and honestly right. I'm very strict with myself but I knew that Mandy and Whitney would be doing some things that were more kid friendly so I tried to be more of right. the you know, person that was gearing towards either maybe somebody older or with very, very strict diet needs and restrictions mm-hmm. or, you know, older right. kids or whatever. So, okay, Whitney's ready now. Yeah, uh, I've heard this, of this brand before. Yes, I heard of this brand. I had never only, heard of them. They used to only make these tins of like hard candies. Like something um, your Nana might which, have in her purse. <laughs> and, actually, and I think maybe I am that Nana because the, I don't really do a lot of candy. So a lot of the other things I reviewed were more chocolate, but I decided to get some of this candy for more like, oh, for kid friendly. Um, they also, they are USDA uh, certified organic. They're non-GMO. Um, they're also vegan and dairy-free, gluten-free, uh, soy-free. 
and a lot of their products are kosher certified. And they have no artificial colors or flavors. They, again, their color would be a little bit different because they uh, color with things like beet juice and you know, right. carrot powder and stuff. Um, but they did have some individually packaged candy options. And then um, they had some more. And the hard candies were more like mature flavors. So I said, maybe <laughs> I am the Nana. So I got some of those for myself you to try. You know what, though, to interrupt, but my four-year-old good. did try some of those. And she mm-hmm. loved them. Remember, she kept trying to get yeah, into the tin. Yeah, actually. So, yeah, so. Um, the first one that I'll show, which this is just an individual um, – roll of it but these are called chewy fruities and this one is sour cherry because that was the kind i wanted so we'll do a little bit of close up there those are kind of like some of the um other maybe bigger name brands that have a burst from the sky <laughs> yes exactly so, um, <laughs> little square candy these, that is individually yes. wrapped this comes more in like the um the little log yes, of them you can buy and them you, and well you can you buy can them that log the but then um, they also come in these other bags that are more just like again assorted um this is another sour yeah package but they also just have regular fruit flavor ones that have i will say let me try try these i tried the sour ones and i thought the flavor was really good man this one's sour cherry it looks delicious does it smell i love sour candies anyway so um, it's 100 of your vitamin c so that'd be good for kids um the smell on the sour cherry does it taste like that now i didn't get to try any of these These guys have these have um regular sugar in them so again if you're like mike and you a little bit more like i can't do the sugar um, these have organic sugar, but it's just regular sugar in it. So keep right. that in mind if you're looking for something like that. But they are free um, of the top eight allergens. So you'd be good to go there. No artificial colors or flavorings. Um, oh, man. I, keep yes, sm- I, I won't lie. So I like we are being honest. I didn't try any of the candies that had sugar in them because I, I just don't do that. But right. I am sniffing these sour Those cherry smell oh, so chewy good. fruities. The, the, if they taste like that, they yeah. smell so good. And it says mouth watering yeah. on it. That I, I Yes, you they, can also they would be. You can get them in they these bigger delicious. bag sizes, which have just the little individual square candies in them that would be easy to throw in an Easter egg. Or if yeah. you want to put a whole bag in an Easter basket, you could do that as well. Um, the other thing that I bought from them um, are their hard candies, which I got one that is a um, pear and cinnamon flavor. And um, I'm just going to open up the tin so you can see. They now indiv- When I got these when I was a kid... They were just hard candies inside the tin with like some powdered sugar. And now they're individually wrapped, which are actually like yeah. better because then you're not putting your hand in there and just touching all the candy. But um, they had that one and they had, um, I got one that was like a blood orange and honey. And I don't know, I think one of you guys tried it. I think Mandy, you may have tried it. Yeah. Um, because again, these have regular sugar. So um, Mike did not try these, but um, they have some candy for parents or adults, if you will, if you like an option I, yeah. for that as well. So or at an or an Easter, older kid, right? Yeah, or and, at, at in your Easter feast mm-hmm. or whatever you choose to do. These would be great to just have sitting out on the counter yeah. while you're people cooking and everyone's kind of coming in and out of yeah. the house and so people yeah. just pop one in their mouth. Um, they they also the wrapping on there is really pretty too. I mean the packaging yeah, the on packaging all these are beautiful. beautiful. This would also be great to send in the mail to mm-hmm. somebody like or have this delivered to I them think so too. And I think the tins would like really go through yes. the mail well. Yeah. Whereas some of these and other ones might not just because yeah exactly. It's a hard, metal, yeah. so it wouldn't yeah. be. You never know what the weather's that. gonna be like well, at Easter time. Anywhere. Exactly. All right, so, Mike, do you have another one you want to share? I do. I have another one. It's it's by Heavenly Organics. It's obviously USDA organic. It's non GMO. Um, it's fair trade. Uh, they also um, test for um, glyphosate, and so mm-hmm. they so they oh, literally right. have a. Um, uh, residue free tag on mm-hmm. here. So they make sure, and that's Incredibly because <laughs> clean. <laughs> this is because this is sweetened yeah. with honey. So they're making sure mm-hmm. that their bees are not getting into things that shouldn't be. Oh, so yes. gluten free, dairy free, soy free. This is supposed to be a little mint patty and uh, it doesn't oh, yes. come in a little silver package. It comes in a little green package, but it is a mint chocolate honey patty. And the big claim to fame here is only three ingredients. It has 100% dark chocolate, raw white honey and peppermint oil. That is all there is on these. Now you guys have had these before, I, correct? I have them. you guys tried really them good. yet? I tried one and I have to say, I wasn't I, super excited about it. <laughs> no offense. I but. was <laughs> excited about it because I've had some honey patties in the past. And I have to say, I'm. if it hurts anyone's feelings, I apologize. But for me personally... The honey that was in it was almost like overly sweet to me. And so it was kind of hard to eat the pat. Like I bit into it and I was like, this is really good. And then it was like, as I kept eating it, it was almost like it was too sweet. But I mm-hmm. love all the flavors, like the honey flavor with the peppermint and the chocolate. It smells it's amazing. It's spot on. It just was a little mm. bit too sweet. In the my dark opinion. chocolate mm-hmm. is really bitter. I mean, mm-hmm. it's like. But mm-hmm. it works well with the, with the honey and the smooth, peppermint. It's still smooth, but it is so bitter. It almost, um, 
You almost I just, need it mm-hmm. yeah, to balance out the sweetness of the yeah. inside. The white honey and is so, the white so honey is sweet. Very sweet. Mm-hmm. Yes. And that beautiful mint flavor in it comes mm-hmm. through. Um, it's super delicious. It does kind of melt, so you wouldn't want to put this like outside in the sun. The other thing I want to say is they have an allergen statement on here that says manufactured in a facility that processes tree nuts and peanuts. Mm-hmm. So this isn't good if you have a nut allergy for anybody, but – and obviously it has honey, so, you know, obviously you shouldn't be giving – you know, candies to tiny little kids, but there is honey in it. So if you're worried about keeping your younger children away from, you know, honey for a while, think about that too, because it's only honey sweetened, but it, they look beautiful. It's this glossy finish, um, Mm -hmm. totally delicious. I really like them and they come individually packaged. And I think the bag bag that I got, um, comes with 12 patties in each one. So you do get quite a few. Right. Um, it isn't just like three in there. Right. You, you do get quite a few. And they are very rich. You don't mm-hmm. want to eat a lot right. of these in one sitting. Right. I mean, I tried. I, I will not lie to you. I tried. I only got about four in and I couldn't do any more. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay. So just, just know You're that. You're a quitter. <laughs> I know. I am a quitter, right? So I really thought, man, I'm just going to – I'm going to really splurge today. I'm going to you know, binge on these. And I only got about four in and I couldn't do any more. So I anyways. have to say they, they are delicious. I love mint and chocolate. Mm-hmm. Uh, my mm-hmm. husband loves mint and yeah. chocolate. So we both really, really enjoy these. I think kids would love them too. So mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, the next one that I tried is another sort of well-known brand called No Way. And not No Way, but No Way is in <laughs> Way from Milk. Mm-hmm. W-H-E-Y. And I went a little crazy because mm-hmm. they specialize in chocolate. And mm-hmm. I just that's one of the first things you think of when you think of Easter candy is mm-hmm. like chocolate. So a few of the things that I got was um, – a chocolate bunny. Of course, you mm-hmm. have to have a chocolate bunny. Now, this poor guy, if you are watching the vlog, you'll see his head is gone. Um, my kids <laughs> <Poor Jake>. ate <laughs> my kids ate most of it. Um, poor they, Jake, the milkless Jake, Easter bunny. <laughs> yeah, Jake, the milkless Easter bunny is the one that I got. But they have several options. Oh, and if you want cute. white chocolate, they have that too. And they've got some really cute, like hollowed out ones. You know, like the kind that you would expect to get. Mm-hmm. But guys, this stuff is amazing. There's no gluten. It is top eight allergy free. Uh-huh. And so if you've got a kiddo who has like food allergies, this is actually safe for them. And they have a dedicated processing facility. So mm-hmm. you can be sure that this is not touching any manufacturing products that right. would put your child in at risk or danger of going into like anaphylaxis or anything like yeah. that. Mm-hmm. Um, so the other thing to remember that I want to say about no way, um, because it is a food that it is a, a product, a brand that mm-hmm. my family really, really loves. Yes. Um, yeah. and before I was doing no sugar, that brownie bar that we're going to talk about here in a minute was like <laughs> the, oh my word. Uh, it is like heaven on earth. Earth. Okay, that so is amazing. Yeah, but, speaking of the brownie bar. But I want to yeah. talk real quick about they have Easter bunnies, but they also carry like Santas and stuff during the holidays. So oh, no way really good about no way really is driven towards children and keeping them engaged in every holiday mm-hmm. so that they don't feel left out. They do a really great job of that. They okay, go ahead and talk about this yeah, brownie. Halloween is yeah. yeah. Halloween, Halloween too. Oh, yes, yeah, because Halloween, like when my That's a hard time to find candy. Exactly. To keep when, everybody included. When my oldest, when we decided he couldn't have dairy and we had to cut back on sugar, um, it, it was really sad for him. And one of the first things he yeah, said actually was, am I not going to be able to have Halloween candy? It wasn't even close to Halloween, but he was thinking about Halloween candy. <laughs> it's already on his radar. So I love that No Way has really thought about this. And so mm-hmm. some of the stuff that I tried, um, I don't even have packaging for it. It's literally gone because everyone <laughs> loved it so much. But um, one of them, they they have this brownie bar all year round, but they have it for different holidays. So this is an, an egg mm. brownie bar and it's covered in deep chocolate and it's so cute. And it was so fudgy and delicious. Everyone in my family loved it. Um, and it is I- so, like I said, it has been a few mm. years since I, I've been sugar-free for a, a, quite a while, but this was one of my, ooh, my kryptonite. Mm. This is so good. Oh my gosh. It was delicious. And so a couple of things that I got that are not necessarily Easter, like, um, like they're not pointedly Easter mm-hmm. was, um, a package of their pea knot cups. Um, and they're made with sunflower, um, butter uh-huh. instead of 
peanut butter. Mm -hmm. And um, if you're watching the vlog, you'll definitely see what those mm -hmm. are are um, a knockoff of mm -hmm. or um, link back to. But um, they're also a package of chocolate Choco No Nos, mm -hmm. which. Um, Again, if you see their little round candies, mm -hmm. um, they they don't the, melt in your hand. Yes, exactly. Um, um, <laughs> again, we, we talked about this earlier. The coloring is not like the same as you would expect, right. but like the the taste was really really good. Mm -hmm. All my kids, I had to actually stop them because I wanted to have some left over. So um, they were really like into those. But I have to say, the biggest product that we all loved, we've tried before, are their Vegs, they're Easter Vegs. That's right, V E G G S, <laughs> as in they are vegan eggs. And guys, my favorite Easter candy of all time are a certain cream filled mm -hmm. egg <laughs> that comes about every Easter. It's pretty famous. And you mean the clucking bunny? Uh, you might <laughs> know <one>. it. <laughs> he might know it. That one. That one. And when you're trying Haven't to you said that – now, I'm not a huge – I was never a huge fan of those, but you say they're like an absolute perfect dupe for those. Like wow. they're amazing. They are incredible. And sadly, <laughs> up until just a couple days ago, their machine, No Way's machine, was actually broken. And they were making these by hand, but I have good news for you guys. If you like those certain cream-filled eggs, they are stock. now back in stock. <laughs> so – <laughs> Thank you, no way, for exactly. getting it done. So I just want to real quick, the cho the Choco No-Nos um, are milk-like chocolatey candies, little round ones that we said mm -hmm. don't melt in don't your melt hand. In your hand. Um, and then the peanut cups, they describe them as sunflower-filled milkless cups. So we already know what those mm -hmm. kind of are. But they are really they are really good dupes, guys. They're really, really good. If right. Especially if your kid really wants the stuff off the rack at the grocery store. Or maybe you store. just really want one. Yes. But yes. you don't want to like, you know – that na the nasty chemicals and extra like mm -hmm. junk that's in it. I'm not telling you they don't have sugar. They do. Yeah. But you can feel a little bit better at least knowing that you're not also inundating your body with sugar on top of artificial dyes right. and extra like, you know, um, inflammatory ingredients. Mm -hmm. Right. My rule, and you'll hear me discuss this in that three-part binge series in the beginning if you mm -hmm. want to go do that, is I have a rule that says, you know, do as best you can as often as yes, you can. And this right. is one of those things where it may not be doing the very best you can, but it is doing better than you can. Better than, than most. Better than most. Right. So, Whitney, do you have another one that you want um, to talk about? I got something. This isn't necessarily specifically geared at Easter, but it was another candy fun that you could use. Um, it's more, I wouldn't say it's more candy. It's more of a chocolate, but um, this company, I'll pull out some of the bags. Um, this company is called Emmy's Organics, mm -hmm. and they're famous for, like, their uh, coconut cookies, so to speak. Oh. But it's more like a patty of coconut, and they dip it in chocolate. Right. Um, yeah. So I've heard of them. I mean, would you say I, – I don't know much about them, but would you say that they're, like – their main ingredient is coconut? I'd say their main ingredient is coconut. They're also gluten-free and vegan and grain-free. Um, they're also certified organic, and they're at um, a dedicated facility for that. So if you awesome. need oh, that, um, they – I got a, a coupon code for signing up, so that's something you want to look into if you're ordering online for Easter or for anything else. You can get um, a code for free shipping. Um, they also have things called um, – Grab and go bars that I'm not for. I did not get any of those myself. I'm assuming they're probably similar to these, but more in like a bar form that are individually wrapped. Um, oh, right. I'll do a close up. This one uh, that I got was a peanut butter one. I also got a vanilla flavor and then a chocolate mint one. Right. And um, these, um, I'm going to describe them a little bit. They're called yeah. peanut butter bites. They're almost like a protein ball or something, yeah. but they're kind of right. squished into and like a, a flattened circle, a right. flattened, so flattened they're sphere. They're a decent size too because I got them and I was th I wasn't sure what they were going to be. They're like, like a two biter. Cool. Yeah, they're like a couple yeah. bites, um, but really. I thought these are pretty good. I think my favorite's probably the peanut butter, but I'm partial to Yeah, you let to me that. try them too. Um, I liked the peanut butter one. And the chocolate and mint one was very now, good Now, are as these, well. do these those have sugar have, in those them? Those do have sugar. They do um, have, okay. Yes, so those, uh, on a side note, yes, those do have sugar. If you're looking for, they don't have a lot, but they do have sugar in them. So if you're looking for no sugar. It is coconut based. It is coconut mm -hmm. sugar and it is also coconut syrup. Yes. So, so, I mean, and they're organic, but it's. A lot of people, like their bodies can handle coconut sugar better mm -hmm. than actual, just even like organic refined right. sugar. So that might be an option, but then other people might have like a coconut or trino allergy and Ooh, that might not be an option really for them. And yeah. um, these are really good, but I will say um, definitely not something you want to put in an egg. They are a little bit melty and soft just pulling them out of the right. bag. I 
they look a little delicate. Me, so yeah, don't put those in an egg. You know, <laughs> they're very soft. Um, like Mike had said earlier, you could maybe put them like in a little bowl on your mm-hmm. table and just have them like have something them that kiddos eat. could like, yeah. or, or even adults. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, my husband and I tried them. Actually, I cut them up and like everyone tried them in my family that could. Did the Obviously, kids not like the eight month old. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but no, the kids even liked them too. Mm-hmm. Um, they were a little bit like drier than I would have liked. Yes, I but agree. I think that's they were the coconut, bit, mm-hmm. you know. And on top of that, I felt like the flavoring on the mint and the vanilla, but especially the vanilla, was like a little bit light. Yes, I would mm-hmm. agree with that. The vanilla, because they just – I only got these three flavors. They have a whole bunch more on their site. They have like um, a birthday cake one. They've got um, oh, a lemon good. ginger, which sounded kind of good, but these were just the three – main ones that I got. Um, and like Mandy had said, the vanilla, it was good, but it was a little bit dry. I think there just wasn't enough kick behind the vanilla flavoring. Right. I would have liked um, just a, but, a little bit more flavoring. And these also are described as mm-hmm. chocolate covered coconut cookies. Yes. Peanut butter bites. Right. So they're yeah. definitely more like a cookie cake yes, kind of consistency a, and then dipped is what I'm assuming. Mm-hmm. Right. Like sort of like those drop cookies that don't have to be like yes. necessarily baked. Mm-hmm. The, you know, yeah, I would oh, agree with that. Okay. Yes. You know, like, but more kind of squished into an actual patty so it's more like you're getting <laughs> right but um yeah definitely these are not a cookie like if you're thinking a typical like chocolate chip cookie or typical quote-unquote cookie these are more of a coconut patty that's been dipped in chocolate still very good but again not necessarily mm-hmm. specifically for easter but and um, these are still a good option they ticked a lot of the box as far as like being organic and vegan and grain free mm-hmm. i mean if you're looking yeah. for those things th- they were tasty i know you guys said that you get a little nitpicky on like yeah well it could overall, use more of this but if you want a treat that ticks those boxes it's a right. very solid treat to try right. yeah no i really definitely. i enjoy i still enjoyed yeah. it Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So let's see, Michelle, you've got some more actually right here. (laughs) Yes. I've got some right here. These are the ones Um, we've been eyeing. These are the ones that took the longest to get to me and there's been some delay on shipping. So these are by Phi Kind Organics. Now when she says Phi Kind, it's P-H-I. Yep. Phi Kind. And, and, um, these were actually given to me by Mandy when I, the, was it Christmas time or was it my birthday? I think it was my birthday, possibly. I think it was your birthday. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. and Mandy ordered these in for me over two years ago because right. I not I these couldn't, specific ones. Not these. Right. <laughs> <laughs> these are not that old. That I out. ate those. <laughs> <laughs> I ate the one. But I was first introduced to this brand when I was still going through treatment. I was guys. When I say that I wasn't doing any sugar, I wasn't even doing no fruit sugar, at that point. Yeah, I mean, I right. did, was doing nothing. It was intense. Now it's I very talking, stringent. Yeah. Yes, and uh, and so it was a very rough time for me. And so the thought of me splurging my birthday for very decadent specifically mm-hmm. what they're known for are truffles mm-hmm. it was amazing so we haven't talked about pricing on these but i will admit Phi kind i'm sorry to say this they are an expensive candy they're mm-hmm. an expensive truffle right. but they they don't try to not be um they are what they are yeah, they right. are beautiful they look decadent they look expensive these are things that you could give as a gift to uh, you know an older family member or whatever i mean like the, this is the star of the show i mean they right. so they come in these cute little boxes um i got the so their five kind truffles are what I got. They also make um, a truffle bar now in the, mm. in their flavors. Yes. I, that's not what I was looking for. I had some other bars that we were you know looking at anyway, and so I really wanted to go for the the wow factor of ooh right. truffles. Right. Mm-hmm. So the ones that I got, let me just say, these are sugar-free, keto, paleo, vegan, and raw. They um, use stevia um, as their uh, erythritol as their sweetener. Um, so once again, just remember that if you don't want to do any non-real sweeteners, that they wouldn't fall into that category. But they're, um, they do stone grind their, um, their cocoa or cacao, however you want to say it, that's 70%. And so they often talk about that there are a lot of uh, antioxidant properties mm-hmm. still left in the chocolate. And that's, oh, yeah, they, that's awesome. they slow grind it so it doesn't get hot. If you go to the website, they have tons of information as to why they think that theirs is very uh, nutritional mm-hmm. as you right. eat it. So I actually got a bundle of three different kinds. Uh, one of them is golden milk. So it's like the turmeric um, golden mm-hmm. milk. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, this other one is called cosmic mint. And then I got an almond butter cookie dough. And they look so pretty. Uh, like I said, vegan, raw, keto, and sugar-free. Um, which ones do you guys want to try? Because we they haven't tried any of these, and I, I haven't opened them either. Mint one. I want to try I the golden try. milk. I'm really intrigued. I know, right? Um, so here's a golden milk to try. Uh, easy, the website is easy to use. Um, oh, I didn't get these opened. Um, 
Yeah, I think ease of use for like websites mm-hmm. is important too. All the ones that I bought from that I'm telling you about today actually were really easy. And yes. most of them had coupon codes mm-hmm. for either Easter or first time purchases. So, you know, make sure you're looking for those. That's the mint. Um, oh, yes, wow. same oh, with the. Whitney's going to try a mint. Mandy is going to try golden mint and, or golden the golden milk. milk. And I'm going to try the almond butter cookie dough. Okay, I will say these They're are very so pretty. pretty. They're very, I don't very know, do pretty. Do you want to show this to them before we like I feel like it? Before you like, okay, so this, okay, I'm, we're going to do a little thing. So they're very small. I don't mean that rudely, but they're, they're little. They're not like ginormous truffles. What would you call the size of these? Um. Oh my goodness! Like, I mean, <laughs> um, they're they're about the like the diameter of like a quarter, mm-hmm. and but they're about oh an inch thick maybe. And yeah, this one's the mint one that she just. Yeah, you're yeah. Tr- Whitney, Whitney's trying cosmic mint. Mandy is trying the golden milk, and like I said, I'm trying the almond oh, wow. butter cookie dough. Oh my gosh, you can instantly tell that this has turmeric in it, wow, in a good way. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, not in a weird way. Like it actually really works. So, like mm. I said, they're oh about the about size of a quarter. They are very glossy, shiny. Um, the almond butter cookie dough has some drizzle across the top and even some color differentiation. Like, it's almost mm-hmm. like a white chocolate and then has, like, a darker chocolate sprinkled on top. They're very beautiful. Mandy's golden milk one is very yellow on the, and very mm-hmm. turmeric color on the inside. Mm-hmm. Whitney, does yours have any color on the inside or is it just dark? I'm not on the inside. It's just the chocolate. It's but just I the dark say, chocolate. Mm-hmm. The mint one, you can tell that it's, like, real mint extract mm, and it is mint it's oil. really good mm-hmm. yeah it's like mint mm-hmm. oil it's it, this one's delicious and mine is really typical of like the ins- it looks like a ch- it looks like chocolate chip cookie dough mm. on the inside mm-hmm. i think maybe this one has like some sea salt in it mm. it's mm-hmm. really really good i love salt with chocolate so for me this mm-hmm. is right up my alley i really really love this mm. i, I would say these are like sophisticated flavors maybe but i think my kids would even like them oh um, yeah but I think these are, gosh, what did I tell you? I think they're $9 for four. They're expensive. They're a, right. they're a high-end um, treat. So as much as I say, well, it would definitely yes, kids would like keep... these. I just don't know that yeah. you'd want to spend that at the rate that my kids would consume right. them. Right, but you know what, though? Just to have these in your back pocket, mm-hmm. you know, for, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. Valentine's Day or yeah. a, a birthday for someone well, who – Well, these are just – it's they're rich, too, so you're not – I just ate one of them. Right. You I get don't, four in I a don't package and I don't need another right. one right now. Mm-hmm. Like, exactly. they're good. So they're pretty rich. So you're okay, not just so going to gobble them down. They're eight ninety five. dollars for this four mm-hmm. that come in this little box. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, they do sell them in the truffle samplers and also the bars. Mm-hmm. The bars are around $6.99, um, which is pretty standard. That's a pretty standard price for, for like alternate a, alternative like option an, bars. and for like an artisan chocolate For an bar. artisan chocolate. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. They do have some other things like some chocolate chips and things like that. Mm-hmm. I've never tried those. When I've gone there, I've specifically been looking for truffles or chocolate or something like that. So right. – right. um, I really like the almond butter cookie dough one. It does have more of a cookie dough-ness to it mm-hmm. instead of like a cookie. Um, mm-hmm. It's not as bold of a flavor as the other two are, but it's definitely good. And, I mean, you can tell that it's high quality. It's, yes. it's right. Definitely. The way it melts in your mouth is just very smooth, and I don't know. You can tell that it's more artisanal and high-end. Mm-hmm. And I, I guess I want to clarify, I mean, it's not – you know, this doesn't taste like a curry or anything with the turmeric in it, which mm-hmm. I think most people would probably think. It it lends itself very well to the chocolate, mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. it's not weird at all. This right. isn't like some totally eccentric flavor. Mm-hmm. I think most people would probably enjoy it. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. But anyways, kind of different flavors, beautiful to look at. Really good. Um, and mm-hmm. those are the last of my candies as far as ones that I consider on my plate to okay. to consume mm-hmm. and um a little bit more expensive than just the standard stuff but definitely an option especially if you want something super special for easter or holidays for right mm-hmm. yeah okay so whitney had one more i've got one more that we can try um this one's called chalk zero um and they are soy free and they're gluten free um no added sugar no sugar alcohols are just sweetened with monk fruit um but they do contain milk um, but they are keto friendly, which I thought was really nice. I did keto for a while, so um, me too. Yeah. So this was a good option for that. Um, they also have That's a big chunk. Um, these are just <laughs> this is their keto bark that they call, it, and they have other flavors too. This one's just their dark dark chocolate. Now, can okay. I have this one? That one. This it's has got it's got milk in it. It does but have a little milk. Bit, okay. Yeah. Um, so uh, this one is their uh, again their keto bark. This one is a dark chocolate. They also mm. have like and I ordered it off of a bigger just like online chain store. Um, when I got mine, so when I actually went to look them up to do a little more research on them, um, oh, I got to their actual site, and they have 
recipes on there. They've got um, they have these individually wrapped like peanut butter cups. They have syrups and spreads, and they have baking chips, kind of like Lily's chocolate, where you can get. Oh, uh-huh. and they have like a mint chocolate, and they've got all different flavors. They of those. also had Easter bunny chocolate Easter bunnies. Yes. I noticed. Mm-hmm. Um, and so they have just and just regular chocolate bars as well, if you want those. But um, right. I really like these. The, the whole bar, um, decent sized bars. I think Michelle already showed you a close up of those, and those come in mm-hmm. a bigger bag that are wrapped. So in this, I would say is probably an average price point for what you're going to get. Um, right. I'm. I would be interested at some point to try some of their um, some of their syrups and their spreads. Like they have like a hazelnut Ooh. chocolate spread, and they have yeah. different maple syrups Ooh, and just different kinds of. Not necessarily just maple, but like, you know, vanilla maple or butterscotch or they have all oh, kinds of – so good. they have a whole mm-hmm. bunch. I have not tried any of those myself, but in the future, you may get a review about those because <laughs> I may want to try them out. But, um, yes, I would say they're keto bark. I think it's really good. And they have – this one just was the peppermint one, but they have a whole different bunch of flavors yeah, on I mean, their site. Okay, so – What do you think about I, it? I bit into it, and it, my very, very first initial reaction was, mm-hmm. oh, no, this is really like kind of chalky. But then I realized it wasn't. And the mint is actually like – actual mint it's not like yeah, an extract it's like, it's like a chunk of yeah, they have chunk. mint in mm-hmm. it it's really oh, wow like, yeah it's really really like almost like a hard candy mint yes. that's like layered in between mm-hmm. the layers of the chocolate it's Ooh, it really, smells really good site, yeah really really good when you order from their site um they do give you a coupon code but they also send like they package it really nice like it came in like a little chalk zero um, yeah you like can a, see it maybe you can get that on the camera i don't know yeah, it'll show up it literally has like a chunk of it almost looks like it's it's not glass, but it's like a, a hard candy. Like in, a hard inside. candy in it, which is also kind of yeah. fun to eat. It, it has I like an one, extra like crunch. This reminded me of like an almond bark kind of I mean that was supposed to be their keto bark, so it reminded me of like an almond bark. I don't really do the almond peppermint almond bark anymore just because oh, yeah. the almond, as there's too much sugar in it, so I try to stay away from it. But that is dangerous for me because I love the peppermint bark. So this one was a really good kind of alternative to that. So look at the chocolate and the peppermint, yeah. but I'm not oh, downing. Really good cups of sugar while I'm doing it. Yep. So yeah. overall, Chalk Zero definitely got my approval. They're um, organic, again, uh, gluten-free, and they some other stuff does have milk. So if you have a milk allergy, make sure you check for that. But mm-hmm. um, mm-hmm. non-GMO, um, they do have some individually wrapped candies on their site too, which could be good. This particular, the Bark Bars that I have, those would not fit in an egg. But um, right. I think they're peanut butter cups but probably. But you could put it in, well, the you could put it in a basket. Yeah. Or, yeah. So these are good, again, if you have some allergies going on. These would tick those boxes. Um, obviously, aside from uh, dairy, they're free of everything else. Now, I say that, but I don't know if they have chocolate on that has nuts. Obviously, that's going to have nuts. Right. But other than that, they pretty much yeah. tick off all the other allergen boxes. So. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Very so cool. I think I'm the the one with the last. Um, oh my goodness! And we this, have heard so much this, about this. this. Oh, I yes. I kind of guys. I kind of fell in love with this company. <laughs> fell and in love. That's like literally all I've heard about the last like two days. I, like oh, Michelle. Okay. I got a little Mike. You got a, I got a little <laughs> obsessed. <laughs> you did. Yes. Um, so <laughs> this company that I found is called Theo Chocolate. T H E O, and um, they are all organic. They are non-GMO and they are fair trade. One thing I wanted to mention, um, one of the things that we'll be talking about, and every curator here has their own set of, you know, standards that they're going to hold certain products to. But Mm -hmm. one of the things that's really important to me, and I know it's actually important to you guys too, is environmental impact and making sure that, you know, especially food products, if they're coming from a farmer, that that those people are getting like a fair trade price and things like that. Theo Mm -hmm. Chocolate actually discloses on their website that they even go even farther than fair trade. Because what Mm -hmm. I didn't realize is that fair trade often is set preset standards, which does doesn't take into account like maybe possibly like a, a bad year for crops or right. you know environmental factors like a, a, a monsoon or season a, yeah. or a drought and um, it doesn't take those into account so mm-hmm. if they just have a bad year or they don't give them the same amount of products that they had maybe the year before they would actually lose money and right. so they actually reevaluate every year with their um, farmers which I thought was amazing That's really cool I didn't know they did yeah and they cool. they actually subject themselves to a third party audit they don't know when it's mm-hmm. going to happen so from every step from the farms all the way up to their financials are completely checked. checked. Yeah. They're, they're audited at any time. They don't know when that will be, but it's every Hmm. single year. So they really had like, I felt like this company was like really ethical. I just like really freaked out and like love them so much. But anyway, um, my kids loved these products. I will say number one, but, um, I was selfish and I think I would actually buy these for myself. (laughs) 
<laughs> as a little special treat. <laughs> like, okay, I bought my kids something from like No Way or Yum Earth, and this is Mama's special Easter treat. <laughs> so I got quite a few products. Um, I got the um, – my husband, like I said, loves um, – like peppermint, um, chocolate covered round circle-y things. <laughs> um, and this is, uh, their version is called the peppermint poly and guys, it's huge. Um, it's oh already, my word. It is I, huge. It's huge. <laughs> I will say she did cut some of this off for me as well. And I tried it and you can tell this is definitely a my high quality chalk. I don't oh, know what the yeah. price point was on it, but, um, no. And that very, was the great thing about good. it. Oh, I assumed goodness. that all this, I assumed that all this, let's just talk about the price point good. for a second. Mm -hmm. I thought it was going to be super, super expensive. I was mm -hmm. blown away at how affordable it was. So like, I would say these handmade treats that they mm -hmm. call handmade confections, I think, which would be this peppermint poly, um, the big daddy, which guys, oh, oh my that one. goodness. I got Even the, that I'm, one. You guys, I'm the weight of it. <laughs> I am holding the peppermint poly, right. yeah. poly right now. And let me just tell you, this thing has been gnawed on. Like there's a lot <laughs> no, gone. Nobody, from it. nobody gnawed on anything. I cut everything with a knife. No truth. I mean, it, it is literally, it's been cut off, but there's a lot missing and it is still heavy. Like that oh, is yeah. dense. It's got like, yeah, yeah, it's got some heft to it. Okay. <laughs> and I think it costs. About three twenty five. Mm. See, that's not okay. bad for that, right? I mean, and then I got something called the Big Daddy. One of my favorite like kinds of candy ever is chocolate covered marshmallows. And there's yes, um, yes, they are. They oh my goodness, I love them. I know they're not good for me, but these actually are fairly decent. And this is not just chocolate covered marshmallow. They don't stop there. It has a layer of organic um, homemade graham cracker crust. Uh, then this was delicious. homemade organic. <laughs> caramel sauce and then on top of that is their homemade organic marshmallow and then it's mm -hmm. all covered in a layer of the theo's chocolate and sprinkled with sea salt guys that was absolutely delicious yes. i also got their caramel pecan turtle which is exactly what you would expect turtle flavor but it was in the shape of a cute little turtle and i felt kind of guilty mm. cutting off his head and limbs to eat him but, but then he you was taste so delicious it. that i kind of yeah, I'm, just, yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> throw this in there as well um i tried all these these do have um organic sugar but yes. they do have regular sugar. so michelle did not try these yeah yeah um, i did not I try did. them at all i did and i can tell you that they were delicious the caramel in it is I don't even know how to explain it. It was delicious. It was absolutely I won't so, lie. so good. I'm this just a little sorry jealous, to be. I, I may have shed a tear internally mm -hmm. there, but that's okay. I mean, these here's the other thing. You know, I've made this decision for myself. Mm -hmm. yeah. I always stand by my, you know, if anybody knows yeah. me personally, I'm pretty stubborn and determined. And so when I make a decision, I pretty much stick to that decision. So right. mm -hmm. I've made a decision that I don't want to consume that. So I may shed a tear internally <laughs> and go, ooh, that sounds really good. But really, I want to stick to my goals and, right. and one of those things is not consuming those particular products right. but man do they smell good and that is a hefty oh. peppermint poly well people. And <laughs> that's something especially when you go back and if you are going to binge you know our first mm -hmm. three um, episodes of this podcast you'll see that we all have different reasons for why we got into our clean living journeys and right. we all have different standards that we we have for mm -hmm. what clean living means to us mm -hmm. you're going to have your own standards right. and so whatever you take whatever we say with that grain of salt if it fits into your category you know great mm -hmm. you might be more stringent like Mike and you might be a little more lax like uh, Whitney and I are. Mm -hmm. um, but the, the last part that I got from Theo was my absolute favorite, favorite product that I You've got heard of, a lot about of this. any <laughs> of any of these companies. She has not <laughs> shut up about mm -hmm. this particular Guys, hot chocolate. Do it's not a hot chocolate. This is the best hot chocolate ever. It is Theo's <laughs> drinking chocolate. It's 55% dark chocolate. And it's so strange. If you're used to powdered packets, throw them in the trash right now. This is little chunks of chocolate that you mix in with whatever you want. You can mix it in. It doesn't need to be a milk or milk alternative. Okay. Mm -hmm. So no water here guys, but you can use either, you know, actual dairy milk or a dairy alternative. I use dairy alternative because we don't do dairy in our house, but you just, and literally they say four ounces of your dairy or, or dairy alternative to three tablespoons of Theo's drinking chocolate. And I thought, what this is like nothing this is like a tiny little mm -hmm. teacup full you don't need anything else and you just sip and relax and enjoy this was absolutely my favorite product i will be buying it again <laughs> so here's so i have a question for you it does that mean that it doesn't come i thought it came individually packaged like a is it one particular no it's mountain one, girl <laughs> exactly no it's nothing like the mountain girl um <laughs> with her braids uh-huh uh -huh. this uh this is just one um one. large package and okay. you have to 
just scoop it out like okay. you would like a ground coffee. You know, you okay. scoop out what you need. Okay. Yeah, Which at first awesome. Or I an thought, instant coffee or like an egg, exactly. a protein shake or, you know, right. whatever. Okay. And I, everyone who tried this, which was um, my kids and my husband – um, and my husband was very skeptical, I can say. He did tell me that he was mm-hmm. skeptical. He's like, I was not going to be impressed, and I was yeah. totally impressed. And then mm. he had to admit that I was right. This is the best mm. hot chocolate I've ever, ever had. And I've been to Paris, guys. So this – Oh, it's just a little tin – it's just a little tin foil yeah, bag yeah. on the inside. No, I've almost consumed all of it. So I'm, gonna, I'm totally opening this <laughs> well, bag and I'm going to put some in your hand it. maybe so they can see like what the little yeah, um, I, I chunks – look like yeah you could i literally tasted some of them you could just sit there and eat these they're like little mini chocolate chips but oh, they are it almost yeah. it almost is like pulverized chocolate that really melts oh, in it a cup does. it melts so good it is incredible have you tried this Mm-mm. i also thought that it would take a lot does of it time melt smoothly or does yeah it no it like... melts really smoothly i really thought it smells that... good yeah oh it it's incredible really good. Oh, my goodness. it's incredible <laughs> guys i can't talk it up enough <laughs> i love it my favorite sold. product <laughs> sold, sold. Sold, sold. so we're getting toward okay, the end so of our podcast we need to wrap this mm-hmm. up for you guys normally they don't go this long but we really wanted to talk about each one of the products right. today why right. we love them and maybe the where they yeah yes and the companies and all that so thanks for hanging in with our our mm-hmm. first one that's super long normally we're around you know 30 minutes or so but this right. one went a little longer it, it's definitely worth it I think so now we need to do our approval ratings and right. go around so, so like we said earlier um, every single um, company or product line can get a 3 out of 3 mm-hmm. curator approval um, and as low mm-hmm. as 1 or 0 I don't think mm-hmm. anyone's today are going to get a 0 no obviously mm-hmm. um, and Mike is going to have a hard time jumping in and, and giving like some of the products that Whitney and I right. had a full so Again, remember, just because it gets like maybe a two out of three doesn't mean it's a bad company. It just May didn't adhere to boxes. her str- right. more stringent, you right. know. Mm-hmm. Um, right. Yeah. So Okay. So do we want to go by each person? So maybe Mandy, go, your yeah, products okay, first? Yeah, you Let's first. go through. I'm just going to go by company. Yep. Yeah. So um, No Way definitely gets curator approval for me. Okay, Manny is it definitely approved. gets curator approval from me from everything I've had from them in the okay. past. Yes. And I'll be honest, I shouldn't be giving it my approval because <laughs> I don't purchase it anymore, but I'm also going to give it my approval because <laughs> it's just uh, we've always loved no mm-hmm. way even before and they're really delicious and if you have kids that have allergies and you want things that are geared towards right. festival so festivities it. It, they you yes. can get an actual chocolate santa you can get an actual chocolate bunny they're special so mm-hmm. it's it's a three it's a three curator approval yeah. i mean totally all so happy faces sure. here. all happy faces yeah, here yeah yeah sure. totally okay <laughs> and then next is yum earth i'm definitely Definitely going to give it my curator approval for the kiddos and especially for like these special holidays. I loved that there was individually packaged things I could just stuff inside of an egg, don't have to worry about it, mm-hmm. just like regular candies. So it gets my approval for sure. Um, they get my approval as well. Not necessarily. Um, I'm not really a big candy candy person. I'm more of like a chocolate or a dessert person if I'm gonna do something sweet. But um, the things I have eaten from them, I do like. They so to me, it tastes good. So it gets my approval and it ticks off a lot of the boxes as far as being organic. You know, no artificial colors or sweeteners or anything. Right. So even if I don't necessarily consume it all the time, it does get my approval rating. Yeah. And I'm gonna compromise on this one. I'm gonna give it a half <laughs> because <laughs> I said before that I wouldn't give anybody that used regular even organic but just used refined sugar I wouldn't give them my approval but my children really loved these and I think that they are for other people in my family my nieces and nephews my things things like that I do think that it deserves at least mm-hmm. half of an approval from me so <laughs> right. I am okay. gonna give it a half so it'll okay. it'll have a two and a half mm-hmm. um uh, approval rating because I think it's important to have things that are easily accessible for kids and right. those are extremely kid friendly they mm-hmm. are so kid friendly the packaging it comes individually packaged they could go great into an yeah. egg when it's it fun. when they hit the boxes uh, take mm-hmm. all the boxes for Easter, yeah. no yes. way, and um, yum, earth. yum earth. They hit right. it. They for really sure do. for kids. Absolutely for kids. Absolutely. Now maybe not so much for the kids, but Theo chocolates absolutely blew my mind. <laughs> Definitely. Good I to am gonna have to give it again my curator approval. You're only allowed to my give ha- it one. My You're- happy face. <laughs> um, I. I I will definitely be purchasing from them again, um, and I don't think this is necessarily even just like a an Easter 
um, you know, holiday mm -hmm. only kind of a thing. I could see giving this as a gift for someone's birthday mm -hmm. or special treats for like Valentine's Day for like my hubby, things like that. So, um, yeah, I, I, I'm going to give them a big old happy <laughs> face for sure. Okay, Whitney, what are your thoughts? Um, from what I've tried, from obviously kind of like Mandy said, it's not something I would just get every day just to have a treat, but for something specific, if I wanted to get myself a treat or if I wanted to give it as a gift, they would definitely get my approval. The things that I tried were amazing. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay, now I have to. <laughs> no. burr, burr, burr. Okay, wah, they're wah. they're not going to get my approval just because of the amount of sugar that's in them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Once again, that that peppermint Polly was literally like lifting a weight, like I was getting a workout. Right. So here's the deal: would I get it for somebody else, like one of you guys, for a gift or something? Yeah. I, I would. So I, although I'm not giving it my approval because of the sugar content, the reason it's not really geared towards children, and so I'm right. just kind of thinking I'm not going to. I would never buy it for me mm -hmm. and I wouldn't buy it for my children. So that's why it's not getting right. my approval. Oh, Although right. I do think it's, you guys, you literally talked about how delicious it is. I'm mm -hmm. sure it's delicious, but for me, I think your I, husband I, would probably, yes, he it. would. Yes. He would. But my husband <laughs> also tries to be sugar, sugar yes, free so. as well. He doesn't do sugar either. Uh, I do need to, I, I do need to interject one thing here. Um, like the, the drinking chocolate and a couple of the other products, um, had no, now everything's organic. Okay. Mm -hmm. But they, um, they had no, corn syrup, mm -hmm. but a couple of the handmade confections did, did have corn syrup, okay. albeit quote, quote, organic. Mm -hmm. So obviously I'm not a huge fan of corn syrup in any way, shape or form. Right. Um, but I, I feel I need to disclose that. Mm -hmm. I was willing to make an exception because you could still choose the items mm -hmm. that aren't Inc that don't right. include that. Right. Right. So right. Me, be mindful of that. If you are like me, you don't really want corn syrup in your products. Mm -hmm. Just look through. They are very like they disclose all their ingredients. Right. They're there. very transparent. Yeah. About they're very it. transparent. And that's why I feel kind of bad that I'm not giving them my approval. Right. But I would right. never buy that for myself, and so that's why I don't want to do right. it. I would never buy it for you know my kids or or me just because that doesn't fit into our diet restrictions. Right. But I do I do love and I want to endorse that I do love their transparency. That is mm -hmm. so yeah. That is yeah. a good thing to look for in companies. Transparency. Transparency, transparency, Honestly, transparency, yeah. Yeah, because right. a lot of them are not. Okay. Um, okay, so let's move on to mine. So yeah. Phi Kind, the truffles and stuff, obviously I'm going to give them my uh, approval because I really like them. They are expensive. I am, I am on... I'm I'm honest with they are expensive. They are mm -hmm. for a more uh, mature palette. I mean, I think kids would enjoy yeah. them, but it but they're very pretty. And for the price of them, and you do have you, during you hot months, you have to get look. cold packaging. Mm -hmm. It's not cheap yeah. to ship them. They come out of California, mm -hmm. so if you live, we live in the Midwest. It took a long time for it to get right. to me, and not that that's their fault, but just reality here. Right. So um, they get ahead. they get my approval, but they are definitely a treat and, mm -hmm. and but they do tick a lot of the boxes and I do believe that they still retain a lot of their they're very transparent with their processes. Yeah. And I think you can even like call and chat with them live and they'll mm -hmm. answer any questions you have. So I do like that. So they are uh, mic approved. All right. Yeah, they're going to get my approval as well because I the flavors are just so unique. Mm -hmm. And they are. Um, if I'm going to do something that like is sugar-free, you certainly couldn't tell that it was sugar-free. Mm -hmm. You don't feel like you're skimping or you're you're getting some consolation right. prize. You <laughs> you still feel like you're getting like a really yes. delicious truffle. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, they're going to get my my curator approval as well. Um, I am also going to give them my approval rating. Um, I think not only are they delicious, but I like the fact that they're very um they explain all about why they do things the way they do. They're mm -hmm. transparent about that and how like this actually adds back. So you're kind of, yes, you're getting your treat, but you're also getting some health benefits at the same time, which yeah. I think is nice. I um, mean, also, again, this is something sugar-free that I could actually like, get some, for somebody like Mike or, you know, or mm -hmm. whoever it may be, someone in my life that maybe can't have sugar or decides to go sugar-free mm -hmm. for whatever reason. Yep. So that's a good thing to kind of have in the back of your back pocket for right. those kinds of things because it is a very nice treat and it tastes decadent even though there's no sugar. Yep. You still taste yeah. like, it still tastes like you're getting something really Special. Like amazing and special. Yeah. So. Right. Okay. The other product that um, I talked about was the Heavenly Organics, their um, peppermint patty, kind of honey patty oh, yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. um, totally gets my approval. It is – I like that it's honey. Um, we often talk about honey that it has – uh, healing benefits, properties to it. Yeah. Uh, there's, we can get into a whole segment on right. honey and we, and we will. So I love that it's honey. It only has three ingredients yeah. and simple packaged easily, you know, you can yeah. carry them in your purse or something, um, and just pull them out and eat them. And they're, they're very decadent to the point where like you take a couple bites and you're like, Whoa, okay. That, that was kind of all yeah. I needed. So like I said, I tried to binge on them. I only got like three or four in and couldn't eat anymore. So totally have my approval with just simplicity of the product. They're very straightforward. And I, and I, 
I really love the simplicity and the and the decadence and deliciousness of just what it is. Right. I I agree. I I kind of felt like you know with the honey it could like go down a path that was maybe mm-hmm. not as tasty as it actually is. So it's kind of surprising in a really pleasant way. So I'm going to give it my curator approval as well. Ooh. Um this one's kind of hard for me. I really I like a lot about what the company does and I actually I always have loved chocolate and honey. I've had different brands of those pies before that I think are really good, but um I don't think I'm going to give this one my approval just because when I ate it, it was so sweet. Like I ate like two bites into it. I had an idea in my mind if it was just going to be like honey and chocolate like mm-hmm. I had before. But the white honey is so sweet. It was almost like too yeah, much. Me. I, I got like that. a bite in and I was like, oh, I don't know if I really want the rest of this. So right. that's the only reason I'm not going to give it my approval. Other than that, it ticks all the boxes. Just right. for me, it was too sweet. Mm. So a two out of three Sorry. on that one. Yeah. All right. And then the last product that I had or brand was Lily's Sweets or just Lily's mm-hmm. Chocolates. Um, in particular, we we had taste tested here the sea salt and extra dark chocolate. Uh, I really in particular love the sea salt and almond one. It obviously has nuts mm-hmm. in it. And this one tends to have a soy product, soy lecithin in it. So I don't like to do a lot of soy. Mm-hmm. Uh, I am giving it my approval though because it's so readily available. You can literally get it at quite a few stores, um, especially like we're in the Midwest and sometimes it's hard to get specialty things. And I can walk in and get all the different brands or all the different um, items within the brand Mm -hmm. at at the places. And even the big chain stores carry at least the baking chips. It is super convenient. And that's why it definitely gets my star of approval. um, Not my star, but my my approval, my curator approval, because uh, it's so easily available. It is super tasty. They do have options for dairy-free and whatever, and sugar-free. So... That's why I like it. Readily available, mm-hmm. easy, and easy to use. If you want to heat it up and use it for things, it's super right. easy. You can overheat it like the mm-hmm. like the melting chips. Yes. Um, so you can overheat it. So you want to be careful that you don't burn it. But as long as you're careful when you heat it, mm-hmm. it's it's malleable, it's workable, and it's super tasty. Right. I I think I agree. Um, I was sort of on the fence, but I do love that they have a fairly broad product range. Mm-hmm. So and that it's so readily available. I think most people could just easily run out to a big box store actually and get this. Mm -hmm. So um, tasty, easy, does have all those options. I'm going to give it my curator approval. Mm -hmm. Uh, I am also going to give this one my approval. Um, I like that they have all the different options. I like they have the bars. I actually use their baking chips a lot in things, and they work and they melt just the same as a quote-unquote normal chocolate chip. And they have a lot of different flavors, which I enjoy. So, Mm -hmm. And again, I can just go to my local store here and go pick them up, and it's not – I don't have to – get online and order it, you know, and wait weeks for it to get here. I can just go right. pick it up and they usually carry a lot of the different options. So yeah. with all that being said, they're going to get my curator approval as well. Nice. Awesome. All right. Okay. okay. Now, now on to yours. Um, all right. The Tori and Howard, um, I am going to give them my approval mostly just because I think they have good options for, I'm not, like I said, I'm not a big, big candy person. So for me, I wouldn't just probably order these for myself. Just, I don't know if I'm going to, like I said, if I'm going to eat candy, it's probably going to be chocolate or a dessert. So I wouldn't necessarily order these for myself, but they get my approval because they tick off almost all the boxes for allergens. And it's something I'd probably get for my nieces and nephews. They do do different things for different holidays. So mm-hmm. they get my approval rating based on those. Yeah. I, um, I'm i going to give them my approval, but I don't know that I would actually – I know this sounds strange because I'm just giving them my approval. I'm approving them because I feel like they tick a lot of those boxes for when it comes to like allergies and um, sugar alternatives and things like that. But I don't know that I would ever actually purchase anything from them again. Um, so maybe I'll give them a half like <laughs> Mike did. Um, uh, I, I There was – some products that they had that were very similar to, to like mm-hmm. Yum Earth had some very similar ones. And right. I felt like the Yum Earth brand was just like a little more successful. Mm-hmm. So while I think that it's a good brand and they have good options, mm-hmm. I'm just going to give them a half of a happy face. Mm-hmm. Because, um, <laughs> I, I just don't totally know. That you're I just would, being honest. I'm just being honest. I just don't know if I would order from them again. Mm-hmm. So. Okay. And we know what my standard is going to be right. that I, I should probably say no, but I did. So I think I'm going to agree with, with Mandy here and I'm going to give him a half because mm-hmm. I do like that they had 
if you wanted to order from one brand, you had right. you had some items that were a little bit more sophisticated that you could give to like an older family member or an adult or keep out at like sitting mm-hmm. on the table for your feast. Um, but I also like that they did have some kids yeah. options too. And so I think that's nice too when you're going to order from a company right. that you can kind of get a broad spectrum. I mean, right. the ones that Mandy had are very kid oriented. They're yeah, very right. kid, they're very child geared. Mm-hmm. Uh, now I think that's really important because it's Easter, but um, I think that it, it at least yeah. deserves a half. I I'm, I'm not going to say no. I, I'll give them a half approval because sure. I do think that they take a lot, a lot of boxes and they have a variety of products. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So half half approval from me. And the next one that I have is the Emmys Organics that were the coconut cookies. Um, mm-hmm. Even though I'm the one that bought them and reviewed them, I think I'm just going to give them a half. <laughs> not This is strictly just based on the fact that I guess I don't know what I was expecting, but I didn't realize that that's – what they were. They're very good, but I don't know what's something I would just buy all the time. Um, right. They're nice just kind of have around, like I have a bag and just like, oh, I need a quick, you know, like little boost of protein and some sugar, a little peanut butter cookie. But mm-hmm. I don't know that I buy them all the time and they tick a lot of the boxes off, um, like, you know, being organic, they're grain free, they're gluten free, they're vegan. Um, so in all those areas, they tick off all those boxes. Again, I did think they were good. I just don't know that it's something that I would continue to purchase on a regular yeah. basis. So they're going to get a half from me, even though I'm half the one that bought that's it. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. No, that's, that, that's why we try these things. Yeah, okay, go ahead, Mandy. No, what do you think? I, I'm actually going to um, – not give them my approval. I, um, <laughs> I love that they, you know, that they have tried to steer clear from the sugar, mm-hmm. you know, the grains and they're vegan so on and so forth. But I just didn't think that the flavor was good enough for me to like want to repurchase these. <laughs> right. Uh-huh. Right. Um, they were, I felt the peanut ones were the closest mm-hmm. to like having full, like a full right. nice flavor, but like mm-hmm. the rest were so mild. Yeah, they I were just don't really think <laughs> they were, I mean, you were underwhelmed. <laughs> Unfortunately, I was. <laughs> I um, agree on some of those things. But. So for the first time, I am going to actually not give my curator okay. approval. And okay. I'm going to do what I've done before and and not, a appro- not no, approval. No, no, I'm going to give it a no approval. Okay. Now, here's the thing. I do agree that if you like more mild flavored, mm-hmm. maybe for a very particular, like an, an older um, family member or something mm-hmm. that really can't handle a lot of flavor. Some yeah. people can't handle a lot of taste. True. You know yes. what I mean? Very true. And, but I did like that they were gluten-free and grain-free and vegan. Mm-hmm. Those are some hard things right. to get together. Yeah. So if if you want to go out on a limb, it only got a half half curator approval. But if those are things mm-hmm. that you think you want to try, it could be an option for right. a very specific person mm-hmm. in your life or you. If sure, that's you. absolutely. Right. Uh-huh. Okay, Whitney, your last. And the last one that I have is the Chalk Zero. Um, I'm going to give them my approval. I They tick off a lot of the boxes for allergen things. And also I do like that they're keto friendly and that they don't have um, any sugar alcohols or anything in them. So for me... I'd like to try some of their products, like their baking chips and maybe their peanut butter cups, maybe some of their syrups as well. But uh-huh. overall, they get my my approval, my curator approval for what I've tried from them. Right. They're going to get my curator approval too because they do um, – I think that it's, it's really – tasty, number one. Um, and number two, I love that they're keto friendly. There's so many people who are taking charge of their health and jumping mm-hmm. into keto. I think that's great. I did keto for a while myself. Um, and I also liked that, especially for Easter, they had mm-hmm. some Easter bunnies, yeah. some things for the kids. Um, so if you've got a kiddo out there who's like maybe diabetic, um, yeah. you know, that's a really difficult thing too. You know, it's not just allergens. Mm-hmm. Sugar is a big, big issue. Yum earth, right. you know, unfortunately does have sugar organic, but still Mm -hmm. this is an option for like diabetic kiddos or adults who Mm -hmm. still want to enjoy their Easter. Mm -hmm. So there it's going to chalk zero is going to get my curator approval. Okay. So I'm a little at a toss up here. I think I'm going to have to go with a half approval again (laughs) because it has dairy in it and I cannot do dairy. If, if that's not a lifestyle choice for me, that is a digestive decision. (laughs) Okay. It doesn't, (laughs) that is a genetic digestive decision. Uh, I am lactose intolerant. I have tried for years to reintroduce that even after I got inflammation out of my body. Mm-hmm. Let me just tell you, I've never been successful on telling my <laughs> genetics to change on that. So mm-hmm. I'm super disappointed that they didn't seem to have dairy-free options, but the reason why I'm giving them a half is they take every other box, especially mm-hmm. yeah. because they're soy-free. It is also hard to find soy-free yes, products. Okay. Right. So right. not only are they soy-free and sugar-free and gluten-free, but they're keto-friendly. I just, I can't not give them an approval mm-hmm. because they, yeah. for so many of you out there, it's going to be the perfect option for mm-hmm. you. So I think that this one definitely deserves a two and a half, especially, you know, for somebody like me who absolutely cannot have 
dairy right. products. So you've just cut me out. But I know I'm not the average. I'm I'm a little bit off center there. Um, but I do think that for the average person, especially mm-hmm. if they're keto or something, right. that that's a great product. And you both were like, oh, wow, this is delicious. It and it yeah, smells very good. Yeah. It smells good. And it's really appealing to look at, you know, even, mm-hmm. even their um, packaging stuff is pretty. And mm-hmm. I think is something cute. The, and, and this particular bar that you were looking at this uh, bark, the bark mm-hmm. one, it comes in like a little package. And so it's yeah. easy to carry with you. You could go in a lunchbox or something. Mm-hmm. And so I like that. I like that idea. Yeah. So, right. So I think that was all co- of our products that we had We had, had to taste test quite a few. <laughs> oh, darn. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, once again, I'm sorry that this has taken so long, and I hope you guys have hung in here with us. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you have, we're so appreciative of your time. Uh, we yes. always want to tell you thank you for tuning in and listening, mm-hmm. giving us your time. We know that is your most precious thing, that you can't take that back. And we hope that you think that this was a good learning experience, and um, we love reviews, and that's a lot of what we want to do. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're going to we'll get have- our hands dirty yes, so, so you, you don't, don't have, have to. to. Yeah. And mm-hmm. so this is one of the things we want to talk about is be real. And some of these uh, reviews might go a little longer. We'll probably break these up into smaller bits, Mm -hmm. but this particular one, we wanted to get out there for you. So if you wanted to get some candy in for Easter, you still had time to do it. And we tackled a lot of the brands for you. Mm -hmm. Right. And um, if you want to see our official ratings or links to any of these um, product websites, company websites, you can check out our social media and also our website, curatedclean.com. Yep. We will have links to all these things for you. We also also videotape all of our podcasts. So if you're the kind yeah. of person that you want to have a video playing in the background or watch us, <laughs> I, I kind of laugh at that. If you want to watch us eat some things or or just watch us sit or around the, the table. Or, or see, see the packages. Or see the packages yeah. and that kind of stuff. Please tune into um, our, our video options as well. Those will be listed on our website uh, and our social media pages too. Absolutely. So once again, thank you for tuning in. We love having you here with us and we've loved sampling all these things and sharing mm-hmm. our opinions with you. So after after you know saying once again thank you thank you thank you we hope to have you tune in with us again yeah be healthy be well and god bless you <laughs>